Hi guys, Katie here. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. I'm going shopping with my girlfriend. Um, I'm doing my jacket first. I'm not putting it on because my house is really hot. Um, but it's just like a little swing jacket with some really pretty lining. Um, this is like two years old from New Look. And then I've got my handbag. My husband got me this for my birthday, but it was on a waiting list. So it only actually came two or three days ago. It's so cute. It's by Lipsy. It's got the red and white polka dots. I've not even put anything in it yet because I need to show you the lining. How beautiful is that? So yes, love it. Um, outfit wise, it's very basic if I'm honest. Um, got some dark indigo jeans from New Look. And then if I come touch closer, I've got two vest tops on from Primark, one white one, one black one. Again, it's because it's May, but it rained all night less then. It's still chilly, but it's too hot to wear like a proper woolly pulley, um, but a little bit of layering just to keep you warm. Obviously it's not ideal for shopping because it means you have to take two tops off rather than one. I'm just gonna do that. Um, and then a little shruggy cardigan from Marks and Spencers. For some reason, I'm a bit uneven on the vest stoppage. Um, Jewelry wise, I've got this lovely necklace which I absolutely adore. Hang on, if I go like that. It's on a blue ribbon and it's like stone and there's some beads and I just love like these beads, it's like animal print. So obviously they've been painted and treated and things. But um, my husband bought me that, this, in this little boutique in Egypt. Um, love it. Um, other jewellery, I've got my Saints bracelet on and I've got a gummy bracelet on. Wedding ring and engagement ring. Um, Vivian Westwood. Vivian Westwood studs that again I got for my birthday um, I'm looking really pale today and normally I'd bong on a load of bronzer but the girly my girlfriend that I'm going out with is very much um, English rose and she doesn't wear a lot of makeup um, so I always kind of look a bit full-on anyway when we're together because obviously I've got quite big hair and I do wear the eyeliner and mascara so I think if I put a shiz load of bronzer on as well today it would just you know I'd look even more weird next to her um <laughs> she wouldn't mind because she's lovely but you know you know how people look and you just you don't want to stand out we just want to kind of it's not you know we're not going out it's not like a look at me it's kind of like we're going shopping um I've got no shoes on yet, but I'm going to put my chestnut Uggs on in a moment. But because my house is so hot, I didn't want to walk around in the house in them. Um, yeah, so we're going shopping. Um, we're also going to lunch um, to this vegetarian place. Now, I don't think, I don't know if any of you guys follow my blog. Um, but for um, me and my friend, we're both meat eaters. Um, but for the last two days, or this, today is day three, I've done my like this 30 day challenge of being <clears throat> vegetarian slash vegan slash raw um, for 30 days. Um, mostly to try, because you know, I'm 30 and I still have teenage skin. Um, and it's not a dead thing because you know, I have a very, I clean eat one, two, three, like twice a day. Um, and it's, you know, I so I take all my makeup off at night and I can't blame my age anymore. So somebody said, oh, it could be a toxin thing and celiac and all of this because I have them on my arm and they're not like spot spots, but they, yeah, somebody said, oh, that's, you know, you, you're a celiac or you can't have wheat or something. So attempting this for 30 days, um, today is day three. So pretty much everything has been, everything I've eaten so far has been vegan. Um, and everything up until last night had been raw. 
last night um i made myself some soup because i was really cold and i like walked them walked darwin and it was raining and i was like cold to the bone it was like oh i need warm food so um i had soup last night but everything i've had so far has been vegan um and i've had a, a range of emotions from like day one i was like excited because it's a challenge and you can see i have some lovely selection of fruit and my fridge is full of fruit and my cupboards are full of fruit um, and I was excited because I really like fruit, it makes me feel all summery and like you're on holiday. Um, but I was really worried about being hungry. That's such a fat thing to say, but, you know, I was worried. I was like, there's no carb, like, there's, like where's the stodge? Where's my mashed potato? Um, so I was really worried. But, you know, first day, apart from being tired, I slept a lot the first day. Like, I came home and had a power nap for like an hour and then I went to bed an hour early and I actually got up late. I normally kind of survive on like five hours, six hours sleep and anything more than that and I'm grumpy. Um, but for the, on the day one I was pooped, I just needed to go to sleep. Um, yesterday was day two and I had really bad headache most of the morning um, but apparently that's caffeine, caffeine withdrawal. Now, I don't drink coffee um, and I'm kind of a Earl Grey girl um, but I do drink Red Bull, which obviously I've given up at the moment, and I didn't really think it would have that much of an effect, but oh my, yeah, not good yesterday. Um, and then I had like this euph euphoric, is that the right word? Euphoric moment when I was almost hyper at one point um, yesterday afternoon. It was crazy. Um, but on the whole, I'm feeling good. Um, I actually think I look more bloated than normal. You know, this isn't normally quite so bad. But um, I suppose, you know, it must be doing something. Well, it's definitely doing something to my digestive system. Not to overshare, but um, you can imagine. A lot of raw vegetables. Ooh, far too much information, sorry. Um, I don't know if that's really interesting to people, diet and stuff. You know, you might have clicked on this thinking, oh, it's another three minute outfit of the day. Um, and I'm here rambling about raw food. So, sorry if this is boring. I normally quite like these kind of videos, but then I'm really nosy. Um, so sorry if you don't like this. Um, I might try and do sneaky blogging today because, as I've said in other videos, my in-person friends, not my YouTube friends, my, like, in real life person touch not, well, I don't touch my friends, but you know what I mean. Friends um, don't know I do YouTube or blog. And that's pretty much how I like it, because I like the freedom I have to express myself um, and share things that I can't necessarily share with my real friends. And that's not saying I can't open up, but it was like when I was, a couple of weeks ago, I was kind of struggling with, the knowledge that some of my friends weren't being faithful to their partners and obviously if all my friends knew I had YouTube I couldn't have done that so you know but I might try and do some secret secret vlogging I'm not sure um <laughs> I hope you all have a fabulous day and a great 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 bank holiday woohoo three day weekend um take care bye